Hello, it's Icy. I am back with more of The Witness. This is my final thoughts and feelings about this game. It's not so much a review as more, yeah, how it made me feel, um, what I thought about it, uh, whether you should play it. Uh, so. Let's talk the puzzles. Let's talk about the start of the game first, and maybe even the bulk of the game. Then I'll talk about the ending at the end, which seems like the best spot for it. So I had a fantastic time playing this game, most of the way. Um, it does a really fantastic job of so, taking you to here. This is how you do it. Start here. Start with this little simple puzzle. Dot line. Dot line corner. Dot line corner around something. Dot line corner in between something. Break it up. Try this way. Do this. Build the complexity. Okay, now use the two rules we've already taught you at the same time. Um, I missed a few obvious things that maybe other people would have picked up. Mainly the environmental puzzles. And I still like it just face slapping myself. Um, I didn't feel I had to cheat a massive amount to get through it and I am honestly very proud of that. Like I feel when when you work out a really insanely stupidly hard puzzle, at least it seems that way to you, and then it just clicks. It's just you take the image and you twist it and it's like oh my god I got it! Ah, There is honestly that feeling oh it's so rewarding uh, and it feels fantastic so let's take that idea of reward and the feeling of oh fierce joy at getting something and then frame it to the end of the game uh, let's talk about the challenge now if you've been watching this series the challenge is only like two episodes ago even the last episode, there's still some more of the challenge. The challenge is a letdown. The challenge takes away that supreme joy at solving something complicated and difficult and replaces it with frustration. Um, all of the puzzles in the challenge are not actually that hard. You just have to do them really fast. Um, and so a big part of the challenge is, did I get lucky enough to get a decent combination to get through to the end? Now, uh, maybe that's not the case for everybody. Maybe there are other people where they don't need to get a lucky combination. They can just do it because they're really, really good. For me, no, I needed a lucky combination. And even then, after 28 tries or something, I couldn't get to a combination that was lucky enough. For me to keep going. I spent a long time doing it and trying again and again and again and didn't get there. Um, so I just that cha took that feeling of joy and it soured it. Um, okay, this is interesting. This is like the trailer. This has different puzzles that are not in the game. <laughs> that, that one there, that, that wasn't in the game. <gasps> oh my god, I could have got hints if I'd watched this. <gasps> anyway, this is obviously like from an early build. Um, so... <laughs> anyway... The joy. Um, the challenge sucked the joy out of it. And so then when I went to do the final part of the game, uh, rather than feeling that exultation and having worked this out, um, I felt uh, disappointment. I'd lost the joy. Uh, and so what should have been a joyous experience of flying up in a space elevator uh, I should say spoilers, obviously. Um, the joy of flying up in a space elevator was lost. Uh, 
I didn't get that. I didn't feel that supreme, like, oh, this is so fantastic. I did it. I've got it. Um, I solved the game. And then the ending, shall we say the first ending, where you turn the lasers off. Not all of the lasers, but it's kind of like your work. Not important. Let's close it. Let's stop it. Let's turn your work off. And you go back to the start. And honestly, that was heartbreaking. It was really just, my god, I feel betrayed, even. So then I went away and had a little look to see was there something extra and yes there's a sec secret second ending and you come back in and you can trace a path and go through to the second ending uh, which is sort of like a fancy hotel um, and I walked through the hotel and I still felt betrayed. I didn't have a sense of amazement, of wonder, of wow, here I am, above the game, watching what's going on, being part of it. I felt I've been spied on by the guests. I've been forced to go through and through and through and through the challenge and then watching and laughing because I can't get it. Um, and what a shame what a shame that that's how I feel at the end of the game especially as it brought me so much joy the whole way through um, so that's my final thoughts on The Witness uh, a game that could be the most magnificent thing you've ever played the whole way through but the ending the ending makes me feel sad so thank you for watching let me know what you think below and i will talk to you next time bye